Hey guys, what's up? What could ever be the series finale or the season two finale of this Fiorentina crew? As you can see by the, um, by the calendar here, I just recorded two games against Man City where I picked up a 3 3 draw and a 2 0 win. But when I went to edit the episode together and put the first couple of clips in and just get it sorted out and stuff like that, I apparently didn't press record when playing the games. So I'm not sure what happened. I, I feel like I press record. But apparently I didn't do so, so it's rather annoying. In the first game, we had a very competitive game, which ended 3-3. In the second game, wasn't so competitive. It ended 2-0 and ended up swimming the rest of the game because at half-time, we were 2-0 up. And it was just easy. It was just a free-flowing game. just no challenge whatsoever. So I the rest of it. And um, yeah, as you can see, we're going to get into this Napoli game, first of all. And the Coppa d'Italia semi-final. So the first leg ended 1-1. And uh, this is like at home, we're going to take them on. And um, in the next stage of the Champions League, which we're going to get into after, I mean, we're against Real Madrid. So that's an interesting challenge. We still have Roma and Inter to face in the league towards the end of the season. But as you can see via, if I show you the league table here, we are currently favourites for the league title by a long shot. So I think I've just got to sim most games up until the final home game of the season. And we're going to play that for the title lift and uh, stuff like that. I mean, there's still a chance I think that we could lose the title. I think there's still a chance, but um, realistically, we're not going to lose the title. We're too good of a team to do so, and we've been great all season long. So we're going to get into this one, though, first of all, up against Napoli. We have a very interesting team. It's a good Trudy, Schlotterbeck, Moret, Botman, and Mario Rui. We've got the back line of Gisa, Ellen Basca, Giuste. They've got Politano, Kvotsch, Kelly, and Giovanni Simeone up front. No Aussie men, interestingly enough, no Aussie men up front. But I think he's still at the club. I'm not too sure if they sold him yet or if he's still there. Let's get into this one. If I use your 11, as you can see, by Danzi up to an 86 rating. Now, Modric has unfortunately dropped down to an 83. But he's still Luka Modric. He's still a great player. Rating doesn't really matter when it comes to him. So, we brought him in for his passing ability. And that isn't going to change. Let's get into this one. And um, hopefully start the episode for a win. As I said, like, uh, an hour ago. But this time, I'm, I'm definitely press record. And I'm definitely recording right now. So, let's get into this one. And uh, hopefully get a win here. At the Saturday Man City game in the first leg. About the... Um, new gameplay and I'm all, like I said to some, uh, one of my mates who I played with today I'm all for the slower style of gameplay I just don't like how um, I get a freaky kit early on but I don't like how like sluggish it feels and the passing feels worse than it's been so far on this game I don't know what I've done to it but apparently it's just whatever I've done hasn't really worked in terms of like the gameplay feeling better it just feels worse and like I mentioned, when this free kick here, can we do something here? Ah, force to save from Moret though. I'm all for the slower style of gameplay. I actually kind of prefer that at times. I, feel, I think only FIFA 20 for the, um, I think it was the Euro or World Cup game mode they had. And probably, yeah, what would have been the Euros? I'm not too sure. But under 2020, um, it would have been the World Cup. I think, I'm not too sure. But under 2020, uh, FIFA 20, that game, they had a, um, a game mode for that and it was a slower style of football. That's still a gameplay, and I preferred it, but the passing felt good on that. And the passing does not feel good here. And the shot taken on Mamosha, but he makes a big save there. He's got pace, he's good at passing, his dribbling's very good, his defending is good when you work on it. About Anzi here into Modric. Modric. Have a lovely pass there into Beltran. Beltran across here to Nico Gonzalez who scores. And that is 1-0 on the night and 2-1 overall. Nicolas Gonzalez, the sort of player of this team. I mean, he's kind of been overshadowed by Boldanzi at times in this chromo so far in, in this last season. But Gonzalez was the main man from the start and still is one of the main players of this team. Grabs himself a goal here, assisted by Beltran. The Argentinian front line working together there. And uh, Gonzalez makes it 1-0 and the night and puts us, to get, uh, puts us um, ahead overall on the aggregate scoreline. Because it just wasn't recorded for some reason. And when I went to save, obviously I can't like go back and get the footage now. It's gone, which is rather annoying. But Armada now making a good run here too. I've got Armada. Armada, get the shot away. Ah, possible penalty in there. Possible penalty shot, but Slobecki have a good defending or very fortunate there for him. Amara. Ranzi. Ah, oh, but Shran didn't really take the touch I wanted him to. I could shoot here now. I could shroud, I have pronounced his name. I could have run here. I really should know because he's 
a fairly big player in terms of world of football. Politano. Simeone shoots and that's an equaliser overall. And it feels like a poor goal to concede. It's a good finish by Simeone and it's well worked football, but I feel like we should have stopped it. I feel like, yeah, we have to do better here. Oh, and that's not conceded. Another straight away good defending. Well, good goalkeeping, sorry, by the Marshall It was not good defending. That was far from good defending. But Armada now. And he opened a good cross here. He has done Beltran. Well. Got to finish that. Beltran's well, shot was not the greatest. And Moret makes a fairly comfortable save there. Uh, Dave's time. Like a week or two's time. Beltran. Risi. Into Armada. Armada shoots and it's blocked. And it's unfortunately going to be a free kick due to a handball by Armada there. But we're getting very, some very good chances here. We just need to put them away. Of that. Amrabat. To Beltran here. Botman. That's got to be a red ref, surely. If Encapier got sent off for something, that's not even a card. Ah, right, okay. We're just going to move on. That should be a red, but. Modric. Ah. Shot it. Right, can we get a free kick? Okay. Opportunity here. Um, he's going to try this. Badanzi. Shot. Blocked. Header. Not one. When that header, there we go. Modric. By that is he. Amada now. Twisting a turn in here. But trying to, if he hit that, but trying to shoot some of rep, makes a save. I'm really not. The referee's doing this game. Oh no, I don't like this. Uh, Mario Rui. Dodo. And Capia, there we go. Okay, that was very. This ref, man. So I'm doing my head in all game. It's been given. Okay, could have given a penalty there, but luckily we didn't. Gotrudia shoots and it's blocked. Gonzalez now. And again, just no one's coming short, man. Like, when I want someone to come short, they don't. When I don't want them to, they do. Oh, what a save. What a save there from Marshavilli. If we somehow end up losing the semi final, man, I'd, I honestly don't have any words. Why did I speak? I swear. Go on, Modric. Come on, lad. Go on. Luka Modric shoots and he levels it. At the death. The captain. The legend. Luka Modric. Sends us to extra time or penalties, one of the two. I'm not too sure which one it's going to be. Probably extra time. I was going to say, if we don't somehow, if we somehow lose this game, I will just be lost of words because we deserve to win this. We've been far much more better. We've been, we've been the better team. And Modric, look at his grass elite equaliser there in a game that should be won by now by us. Let's find out if it's going to be extra time or penalties. Wait, it's post-match interview? What? Have I gone through? I'm confused. Let's find out. What? Did, what? Away goals. Why is that a thing still in, this, in the Coppa d'Italia? No, we've been screwed out of a final. All right, so after we just got robbed in one semi-final, we now, we now take part in the Champions League semi-finals up against Real Madrid. The first leg is at home, and we're going to play it right here. We're going to look at the Real Madrid team. We've got Bacoco and Immobile up front. Bellingham, Bernardo Silva, Valverde, sure many. Fran Garcia, Rudiger, De Ligt, Trent Alexander-Arnold, and Thibaut Courtois in goal. That's a very, very good team. One, two, three, four, five new transfers in that team. That is a very good Real Madrid team. You've got young talents in like Makoko, Bellingham, obviously, like uh, Fran Garcia, but then you've got some very good experienced players in like Immobile, you know, Rudiger, Courtois, Bernardo Silva. It's a very well balanced team. I, I really like that Real Madrid team, not going to lie. I think the only player I wouldn't have is Immobile, but I see Modric returns against his former team here in this game. Let's get into this one 
and um, hopefully not get robbed in another semi-final like we just did in that Napoli Coppa Italia final because we should be in the final right now but unfortunately we're not and we just have to roll with it and you know it is where it is here to Gonzalez see what we can do Gonzalez is in here early on here Gonzalez to make it 1-0 Gonzalez shoots and he somehow misses that oh it's going to be one of those games isn't it Trent I'm not liking this Valverde there we go in Capio good defending Armada even played in here good pass by Capio 2 2 got Marder. Marder now. And head to Badanzi. Badanzi to make it 1 0. Okay. That's two goals I should have had right now. Screws me out of it. Amada now. We're trying out your feet. Okay. The shots are get through. I'm magically going wide and every other shot is blocked. Milinkovic wins it back though. We'll lose it instantly because the pass has gone nowhere near where I've aimed it. Gonzalez keeps it in. Just about. By Danzi now. Like if you left foot wrap. Oh, of course, four saves. Fair enough. That one's a saveable shot. Corner low by Danzi now. Floats it in. It's not a great corner. I'm not going to lie because I didn't want to take it as quickly as I did. Lanzi to win Capia. Okay, why isn't Capia there? Okay, Modric. At your feet, Modric. Ah. Ball over the top here. I can't switch players. Makoko. Oh, Parisi, thank you. I couldn't switch my over centre back there. Couldn't switch to Milinkovic, which would have helped me massively there. Beltran now, Beltran. That should be a goal. Beltran, you've got to score. Beltran does score. And it's 1 0 Fiorentina in the Champions League semi final first leg. A game we've dominated so far. A game would have been the much better team. Some good defending at one end by Parisi. And a goal at the other end by Beltran. It's a great pass, good turn, good bit of pace there. And a great finish at the end of it. Fanny Valverde. I'm Rabat, there we go, thank you. Amada. Yes, it's about Tran, about Tran into Badanzi to make it two. Badanzi! That has to be a goal again. Any other game, that's a goal. Luckily, we've already got one in this game so far, so it's not hurting the most. But we should have done better with that. Bellingham gets it clear. Parisi, we know he's got a good, decent long shot on him. Well, Nancy now. Back post, looking for Gonzalez, can't find him. Good defending there by Dodo. Gonzalez into Badanzi. Badanzi shoots him, caught for Amada. Gonzalez. How is this game only 1 0? Okay, how has that ball gone through there? Oh, no, no, no. You don't do this in the game. And maybe they shoot some Marshall for the save. Oh, there we go. Oh, I don't like how the second half this game should switch, man. I had one shot the whole first half and done absolutely nothing. And was saved by having Courtois in goal. But Amada shoots there. Amada shoots and again Courtois saves. Okay. Oh no, that's going to go number eight. Valverde. And cap it. Oh, the skate. Oh man, like. Like I mentioned, this game should be 5 6 0 to us, but it's somehow 1 1. And Mamasha really stove out of the way of that shot. Let's look at this, man. Why is he diving in the opposite direction? Milinkovic could work. Okay, but I'll try now. 
Gonzalez through here to Badanzi. This has to be a goal, Badanzi. You have to score, and Badanzi does so. The fact this game is as close as it is in terms of the scoreline is a disgrace. I'll show you at full time the stats, but you've seen it via the episode Eclipse that you've seen so far. This game should have been dead and buried inside the first 40 minutes. It's a good shot there by Badanzi. Nothing Courtois can do about that. He got a touch onto it, but not enough in the end. Should Bellingham. There we go, Malenkovic at Shores. Okay, we're just going to control the final minute of the game. Amada. For Isabel Tran here to get a late goal to put us in the driver's seat. Playing it. Oh, how is that? This game, this game, this game's passing, man. Why wouldn't you play it into the space ahead of the play for them to just run onto it and tap it in? I never understand, but it's a 2 1 win, a game that should have been over way before it even began. The stats here make it look like it was an even game, but it wasn't an even game whatsoever. We were the much better team. All right, so for the second leg up against Real Madrid, I'm actually deciding that I'm, I'm going to sim the second leg because it wasn't a challenge against Real Madrid. Like it should have ended five six nil. I want genuinely like no like. I'm not, I'm not lying when I say that. Like if you if you well you saw the highlights, you know how the game was playing, and um, we're going to sim this game here and hopefully get the win. I'd imagine we do so, but uh, yeah, we're going to sim it here and hopefully pick up the win and head to the final of the Champions League in this episode and it's going to be a 2-0 win a 2-1 win sorry 4 to an aggregate Armada and Dodo score and we're going to be in the final of the Champions League let's get into the final game of the uh, Serie A season and lift the Serie A title up against Roma all right so as you can see you had a little but it's fire uh, well uh, bleh. All right, so as you can see, Valerita, we were guaranteed Serie A champions this season. We've only picked up one loss in this uh, whole season in terms of the Serie A campaign. That was to Napoli in a game that we deserved to win. And we somehow picked up a loss in that game. So I don't know how that happened. But well, I do know how it happened. The game screwed us over. But it is where it is. Going to get into this game against Roma here. And at the end of it, lift the Serie A uh, the trophy. And then get into the Champions League final afterwards. That's the team they're going to go into the game with. Let's get into this one. And hopefully get a win in the, well not the final game of the season, but the trophy lifting game. And uh, Modric will get to lift the Serie A trophy here at home. Let's get into it. Okay, Modric was going to shoot there, but the chances are on. But Armada now shot across goal here. But it's by Ndika. He's had a clear. Well, as we look at the table of newly crowned champions, I say that, but... Oh, how's that? I'm about love that. Gonzalez. Awada. That should be 1 0. There we go. 12 minutes in. We open the scoring. And it's Togo Amada who gets the goal. And it's 1 0 here. Obviously, if we win this game, we, we are crowned champions in a winning game. That's the best way to do it. Obviously, we're guaranteed champions anyway, no matter the scoreline here tonight. But obviously, we'd rather get the win. And Amada does well there, assisted by Gonzalez, and he makes it 1-0. Okay, I'm not sure what he tried to do there. Just gave us the ball straight up. Like, there's no other way to describe that. He does actually pass me the ball. Bertrand now. Opportunity here, Bertrand. Gets going here, shot there, and that is somehow missed. Let's place that pass there. And Gonzalez, big chance there. Gonzalez to shoot. Ah, oh, Bertrand blocked it. And why did why did the rest of my defenders step up but one of them step back? Oh no. But like he shoots, I'm a marshal really saves that one. Thankfully. Ball over the top here. Gonzalez just inside Gonzalez hit that cross goal. Modric right your feet, Modric hits it, blocked by Smalling, and it's going to be a handball on the edge of the box. A decent shooting position. What can we do here? Tommaso Balanzi. 
Gonna try and knuckleball here. Oh my! I cannot believe what I've just seen. Oh no, Bellotti. Shut a second, Bellotti, I'm a link of it. Shut that clear, please. Thank you. Beltran. Beltran. Beltran into Badanzi. Badanzi for 3 1. There we go. Tommaso Badanzi is one of my favourite players in this game. He is absolutely incredible. Proven why I brought him in. He's honestly incredible. You guys, I need to use him, man. He's incredible. It's, I, I just can't explain it more. You've seen it in this episode. You've seen it pretty much this whole career mode. If you watched it all the way through. Tommaso Baidanzi is the perfect cam. He can shoot, he can pass, he can dribble. He's got pace. There's nothing he can't do. There's Modric, Armada. Bartram. Oh, it's blocked. I think it was offside anyway, but Modric now. Modric hits it and Patrizia falls into an incredible save. Okay, how has Aidan Murphy, I believe his name is. Well, A. Murphy got random. Milenkovic, there we go. Gonzalez. Badanzi. Badanzi hits it and he scores again. That was a hat trick. I, if I do make a video by the end of SC24, like my favourite players in this game, Kromod wise, he's going to be towards the end, the top of that list. I might make my, my like a, a game, like a video where I make um, like my favourite players and do like a full like 22 players, like the first 11 on the bench. At the end of it, that's something I've got written down as a potential video. And Bardanzi 100% will be in that list. So, okay, thank you. Ref, trying to give me a free kick for that. No, okay. Modric. Amada, if you hit that, oh my, this team is something special. Thiago Amada. I've already spoke about him in previous videos, but like, he just is like Messi in this game. He's like a young Messi. That's what I can compare him to. And you can see here. Okay, why have you played him on side, Parisi? Unless you just want to challenge towards the end of this game. Karo Matoma, cross whipped in, and I scored. Fair enough. But that'll be the end of the game. Or will it be? It's Beltran here. And Ika, there we go. That'll be the end of the game. And it's a 5-1 victory. Or 5-2, actually. Let's cut to the trophy lift. And, well, here we are. This Serie A trophy lift. We won the um, Super Cup earlier in the season. We've won the Serie A title and we've got up next the Champions League final. Luka Modric steps up to his second trophy of the season. The most prestigious trophy in Italy, the Serie A title. And Fiorentino at the back at the top of Italian football. But can we take them to the top of European football? Let's get into the Champions League final right now. All right, so it's time for... The Champions League final here up against PSG. And let's check out their team. Let's see what they got. They got Xavi Simmons, Colomorne, Mbappe, Usman Dembele, Tom Alaman, Pedri, Molo Gusto, Marquinhos, Skinia, Andrew Robertson, and Donnarumma in goal. And it should be an interesting final because, as you know, our team is obviously 
playing some incredible football. We're in the Volkswagen Arena in Germany. Let's just get into this one and hopefully lift the Champions League final or the Champions League trophy here at the end of the final and end this series off in a high. Let's get into it. Defending there by Dodo. I'll try and keep coming on Marta. Marta hits open the score and now Marta shoots and scores. We're taking the lead early on in the Champions League final. Thiago Marta makes it 1 0. You love to see it. And the reason why I'm not getting ahead of myself because I know PSG in this game. If you, if you remember the uh, Lyon Crummer, they, they were just an extremely inscripted team to play against. And they always have been in FIFA or FC. And we take the lead here. You love to see it. Let's hope we can continue to play at this level. That's our Modric. Chavez Simmons. Andrew Robertson, cross whipped in. Borussia gets it clear. Well, not clear, but he should have got it clear. Dodo blocks. There we go. We've got the ball. Modric. Bartran, come on. Bartran. To make it two. Bartran shoots and Donnarumma somehow makes a save. Okay, how is Mbappe floored in Capia there? How is Mbappe floored in Capia there? Okay, good play here. Amada. To Bartram, Bartram. What is that shot? And I know I chipped it. I chipped it on purpose, but I expected him to chip it up, not swerve it around. I'm not sure if got a save. And Capier, please stop. Okay, thank you. I thought he was just going to run it across the line then. So I couldn't stop him from running. Badanzi now. Oh, Badanzi goes around. But Screen are to Beltran. Oh, how has Modagusto got to that? Come on, Gonzalez. Modric Chavela blocked, and it's going to go out for a corner. And Robert in, floated in. Milenkovic wins it. No, he doesn't. Mbappe somehow out jumps Milenkovic there. Makes sense. Gonzalez. Oh, play it ahead of him. Play it not away. He tried to play it to feet there when there's a defender in between him and the ball. I've not played it into the space ahead of him that he could have, that he's running on to. It's been the now, running four for PSG. Badanzi through to Beltran. This has got to be a goal here. If I somehow don't score here. Thank you, Beltran. It's 2 2. I'm rattled, man. I'm rattled. My head, I've lost my head. This episode has just been infuriating. Despite winning games and whatever you. It's just been infuriating from start to finish, pretty much right now, anyway. Shabby Simmons. As Mendebele shoots, and that is luckily gone wide. Malinkovic again, good change, but of course it's gone straight back to Samala Mar. Watch on. Gonzalez feeds it through. It's a massive by Danzi, the Italian, to score, to put us in the lead. Oh, of course he misses. Of course he does. Madanzi now. Man, he should have scored. Dodo. Into his Gonzalez and Donnarumma makes a save. Lamar. 
Okay, apparently he's inside. What a save from Marshavelli, what a save. Gonzalez now. Gonzalez. Gonzalez through. Over. Tomada. I should have squared it. I should have squared it. I should have squared it. I thought a defender was going to press into the space and block it. That's why I didn't do it. But Anthony, thank you. But Tran, that's a goal. Amara, thank you. I don't care how we score as long as we score goals. And that could be the Champions League final winning goal. I really hope it is. This game has been stressful, not in a good way. Not as in it's been a, a tough challenge, but just because PSG have just been that fly that no matter how many times you think you've killed it, it's still there. And hopefully this is the final, you know, the final hit, the final goal. Dodo, ah, has he misplaced that ball? No, surely not. Robertson, Kalam Mawani, Tamar Lamar, block that. Thank you, Amrabat. Oh, it's going to be a goal kick as well. Thank you. I thought there was going to be a corner, not going to lie. Come on, lads, defend, not defend, but just hold the ball. Actually, you know what? Let's go on the attack. Amada, uh, why? Okay, someone explain to me why Amada stops his run there. We've won the final. Thank you for ending the game. That's the most stressful win of my life. I don't even like feel like I won because of how stressful it is. But we won the Champions League final in our second season. That just proves how good of a team we built here. And Marta with two goals and Bordanzi, I believe, scored the other. A triple win this season. Unfortunately, we didn't win the Super the, uh, the Italian or the Coppa Italia. But we've won every single, every other trophy. And well, here we are, a crowning moment, a Champions League final, a trophy lift. Luka Modric to lift another Champions League, uh, Champions League trophy in his career. It's won multiple at Real Madrid. He's come to Fiorentina to win one, and he's done so. It's led us to glory. And what a moment. And whoa. Well, it's been a two-season career mode. I had a feeling we could win it this season. I wasn't sure if we are going to be able to, but we've done so. We've proven... I just felt like this team was good enough to do so. And as you can see by what's on your screens right now, we were good enough. And we're going to get into the um, this, this, the uh, season stats and everything else. If you enjoyed this career mode and enjoyed this video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And turn notifications. Obviously, this ain't going to be the end of the video. This is the trophy pro we're going to get to. Then we're going to get into the season stats. But I'm going to see you in a second for the uh, trophy parade. And yeah, let's get into that and enjoy the scenes that we're going to see there. And here we are, the trophy lift after the trouble winning season. The Serie A title. And obviously, the, uh, the, Super, the Italian Super Cup doesn't count in terms of being there. But obviously, it is a trophy. We won the season, so it technically is a treble. But we've won the Champions League and the Serie A in our second season. I, I, this team, it just goes to show you the rating, rating isn't everything. You know what I mean? Like if you have players that are good enough, players that are good in the stats that they need to be good at, you can achieve greatness. That's what we've had in this career, but we've achieved greatness here in season two. And let's get into the season stats. And in terms of the stats here, this is looking see we've got a bunch of players who are insane numbers. Armada, 20 goals and 9 assists in all competitions. Incredible player. Lucas Beltran, 18 and 13 altogether. Uh, Tommaso Badanzi, 17 and 14. Gonzalez, 14 and 6. Bricalo, 10 and 2 in the second team. Incredible numbers. Dodo coming in with goals. As you can see, the Modric doing all right for himself. 2 and 3, uh, 3 and 8, sorry. I'm about doing pretty good. And well, this team was just absolutely incredible. Like, there was no weak points at this team. None of these players were, like, underperforming at any point. Every player, just every single game, stepped up and achieved what they can do. And Marshall, very incredible goalkeeper. Dodo, 
decent right back. I will say decent because at times his height, five foot five, lets you down defensively. But going forward is, is, is pretty good. And defensively, it's not awful. That's what I will say. It's not awful. Milenkovic, incredible defending. Kapier, incredible defender. Parisi, world-class defender. That's what I've got to say about him. Amrabat, solid CDM. I will say solid CDM. Modric, we all know Modric is just incredible. Like it's just, He just is incredible. But Danzi, generational talent in this chrome. And honestly, like, if you want a cam that can do everything, look at his stats. It's incredible. Uh, Gonzalez, world class. I recommend you try him. Almada, guaranteed. You need to, like hundred percent. You need to try this guy in your Chromas if if you haven't already. Plays at Atalanta United. Is a cam originally, but can play on the wing as you can see. Can play centre forward, centre mid, but he's a very good left wing. But we'll try an incredible striker. Bench, Sotil, decent player. And Zola, decent player. Ikone, we didn't really see much of. Castro, very very good player when we used him. Mandrago, very good player player when we used him as well last season. Silva Martinez Quattro, he was very very good himself. Alvarez was decent. Uh, he's a decent backup right back. Uh, Bracalo, decent player. Baragi, didn't really see much of him. Uh, Barak, very good player when we used him in the team. And obviously, Terra Shoshana was a very good goalkeeper in season one. And Ranieri, we didn't really get to see much of him either. But um, yeah, this whole team, I recommend you try every single player in that starting eleven, And even like Mandregora, try him out. Martinez Quattro, try him out. Great players. And yeah, just got to call it. It seems like this Kuruma took a while to get through. It's been nearly a month because, well, there's been other content on the channel and everything else alongside it. It's been just um, a, a long-winded career mode. But we've got there in the end. And season two, we've ended it. Obviously, next um, the next Kuruma video you'll see is a new team. And, well, I've already got that planned out. I know who it's going to be. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in that one. Make sure you check out the Player Kuruma, chan uh, player Kuruma on, on the uh, channel. Check out the uh, Ultimate Team videos I make on the channel. The Vulnerable for free content I make on the channel, I will be doing that when I have a video just put together that, which is a camo grind series, a road to interstellar. I almost have the next episode ready to go. I'm just going to do a little bit of more grinding, and then that will be ready to go. And then also check out the universe mode I make on the channel if you're interested in that. Now, see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this series and enjoyed this video, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, don't miss any videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you again for watching, and goodbye.